Welcome at part 4 of the Blender 2.8 for beginners. In this tutorial we are going to model and color the console and make a part of the game to put on the TV. I've got a display left down here that will show you my mouse and keyboard button just in case you're missing something. Let's start off with cleaning our workspace so we're going to go to the collection and just click on the eye to hide them for now. Let's spawn in a cube with shift A. And also this cube needs his own collection so let's press M new collection and call this con and click on ok now we need to take care that the middle orb is done at the cube so let's go in the front view number one go into edit mode let's press g for move z to lock it and hold our control to move it exactly onto the red line let's go out of edit mode and now we are going to scale it down so press s for scale press z to lock it and hold your control and move it something like this would be fine let's go to the top view with numpad 7 let's adjust this by holding shift and holding your mouse wheel so you can just move let's press s for scale press y to lock it hold your control and make it something like this would be fine so now we have this shape down here of course we need to make it inclined so let's go to the side view with numpad 3 zoom in Going to edit mode, press Alt A to unselect everything. Make sure X ray is turned on so when I select the front vertex, the vertex in the back is also selected. Let's press G, Z, Alt Control, move this one up. Alt A to unselect, like those one, G, Z, Control, and move this one down so this is what we have right now but we need to apply the scale what we have done before because if we would make a befell so by selecting all with a press ctrl b and you know you can see that the befell at the corner is much wider and uh, at the side it's much wider than the front that's because uh, we need to apply the scale because if we go out of edit mode with tab then over here you can see that this scale is 1, this is 700, this is 200, and yeah, we need to make it up to 0 again. So let's just press Ctrl A, and let's apply the scale. And now you can see everything is 1 again. When I go into edit mode, we press Ctrl B, that you can see all edges are the same. But we are not going to make these edges right now, we just want to make... The sides being cut off, so it looks like a, a YouTube play button. What I'm going to do is press Alt A to unselect everything. And the only way to do this is just like what we've done with the TV. We need to add in some extra loop cuts. So, Ctrl R to get a yellow line. Place it down there, click twice. Ctrl R, place it down there by clicking twice. So now, if I hold Shift and make... Drag selection box by clicking an empty field and drag it all over the place. And would press Ctrl B. Then we can just make these nice cut off corners here. But we cannot really see what we're doing. So I'm going to press escape to let them go. And go to the top view with numpad 7. And press Ctrl B again. And now we have more control about what we do. So I already figured out for me that three blocks, you know, would be fine of cut off corners. Of course, you need to eyeball this out yourself. Uh, what you can also do is make the length of this one the same as this one. And it's kind of okay. So this is what we have right now. And we're going to need to remove those extra loop cuts. So what we're going to do is hold Alt and Shift. Click on this line and click on that line. Now something went wrong here, so I'm gonna press Ctrl Z. Going to do it again, probably because these two lines in the back and the front are uh, onto each other. So Alt Shift. This line is what we want to have, so this is what we have here. And then I'm going to press X and delete vertices. The next step is gonna be important because uh, when we close this gap up, we want to have uh, loop cuts going that direction and not this direction. That will make sense later on. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to select these vertices and press F. Select these vertices, hold Shift to keep them all, press F. And now, like these ones, 
press F, select two of them and hold down F. And now we have filled in the blank. Very nice, right? The next thing we are going to do is add in two extra loop cuts. Now I did said I don't want them to be like that, but yeah, it makes sense to make them like this because now we can use one square and another square to make the inputs for uh, the joysticks. And if these are at the side, then we need to create two extra ones and it doesn't make any sense. Maybe this makes some sense. I hope. Um, but you can kind of see that these lines are not very nice. If you, you know, feel triggered by that, what you can do is hold Alt, select the whole line, then press S for scale, press X to hold them. And when you move your mouse, you can see, you know, you can kind of make them straight. We have done this before. We're just going to press zero. So we know 100% sure it's straight Then click once to let it go. Let's do it with the other one too. So hold alt to select this line S X zero left click beautiful right now the reason why we you know done this also is because we need to make a arrow thingy onto the top just gonna turn off x-ray I'm going to hold shift and select those two vertices I'm gonna go to the top view with numpad 7 I'm gonna press S for scale and just move them about this would be fine you can see it worked out perfect then i'm going to press alt m and merge at center so now these two are merged together now i find the this part of the arrow a little bit um, too big so i'm going to hold shift to select both of them go to the top view on part seven Press S for scale and just make it a little bit lesser. I think this is a better looking arrow. Now hold shift and select also this vertex. Go to the side view with numpad 3. Turn on X-ray. Press E. And now when you press E to extrude this part, you can see it's like inclined. That's something we don't want. So just press Z and now it goes straight. I'm going to hold control and something like this and now we have made some detailing to that now the next thing we are going to do is add some extra buffer onto our console because the side here is way too sharp and you know we can use some extra detail onto the arrow too i'm just going to turn off x-ray so things are more clear I'm going to press alt a to unselect everything then i'm going to press alt and select this line hold shift and also select this line so we have whole line selected press ctrl b and i'm just going to give it a little touch of a bevel just like so um yeah that's perfect absolutely fantastic uh let's go out of edit mode with tab now it's not very clear to see what's going on down here that's because our view or at least my one is still on dev look so I mean, let's go and put it onto viewport shading to get this clayish look again. So it's a little bit more clear uh, what we're doing here. Now we want to add Pavel to the outer edge. We're not going to add one here because, you know, this itself, when I go to the top view, isn't too sharp of an edge. But this one here is very sharp. So let's go into edit mode with tab. Now we once again get this problem. If we would select this whole outer edge and the one below, then we also get the between in. We don't want the between in. So we need to add in an extra loop cut. So let's press Ctrl R, extra loop cut, just like so. So now if I would hold Alt and Shift and select both lines, I don't select the one here in the middle. But as you can see, we didn't select the whole line. So let's go around while holding Alt and Shift. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, only mouse wheel to move and then hold alt and shift that will work better just when you select hold alt and shift okay so now i've got it selected all the way around let's press ctrl b move our mouse carefully to the outside and now we have created a nice befell all the way around we need to uh, remove the line in here so let's press alt a to unselect everything Hold Alt, select the outer line, press X, and delete vertices. Let's hold Shift. 
So we can select all that. She's like this. Press F to fill in the blank. Press two vertices and hold down F. And there we go, we already prepared it. So now our console is starting to get shaped. It really looks like a YouTube play button. I really like that. So let's zoom in and go into edit mode with tab. So now we need to add in a square within a square. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to change it to face mode, select this face, put it back to vertice mode. Now I'm going to press E of extrude, but this is not what we want. We want it to scale it inwards. I'm going to press escape to undo, press S for scale and move it inwards. Uh, let's go to the front view with numpad one. Remain for a bit. And then I'm going to scale this down with S, Z. And I'm not going to hold any control. I just want to move it something like this. And then I'm going to press Z, G, Z. Excuse me, and then I'm going to place it a little bit downwards, so it's not perfectly in the middle, but just you know, a little bit down. I like that better for the shape. All right, so now an important part will come. We need to make the input a different color, right? It's going to be black, but we don't want this to be attached to the console. It's going to be red, so it's more easy to color this, but we cannot just press shift D and then extrude it because if we um, remove this face here by pressing X and only faces, we need to place this down here when we're done with it. Then it's going to be very difficult to select this face down here while the button is stuck to it. Because if I, let me just explain, if I would do shift D and drop it down and press E to extrude, then it's going to be very difficult, as you can see here, to select these inner uh, dots that are not stuck to the button. It's going to be very troublesome. It's still there, because if I would select this button and move this up, you can see the inner edges are still here, and we don't want them to be stuck at the button. Hope that makes sense. So what we have to do here, I'm just going to, well, press L and just delete all of that. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this face down here. And first from the side view with numpad 3, I'm going to press Shift D, but I'm going to place it down here first, right? Then I'm going to extrude it something like this, extrude it with E again, and then I'm going to press S for scale inwards. Um, yes, then Turn on X-ray, select this whole shell down here, press E with extrude, move it down here, and then press S, hold control to scale inwards. So now I've just taken care that this part isn't the same as this part. So I can just select the inner without selecting the button. I have just figured this out while I was modeling and, uh, you know, I just figured out it would be more handy to work from out inwards instead of from inwards outwards. Um, because I didn't scale this one and then I extruded to this one and scaled it first. Then these edges were on the edges and then I moved the whole show up to here and then I was like, oh yeah, now I cannot select the inner vertices. I hope that makes sense. If not, then I talk too much. So I'm just going to select this face down here, press X, only faces. And now we need to uh, add in a circle. I'm going to press Shift A, add in a circle. Once again, way too many vertices. I'm going to change 32 for 8. Press Enter. On the side view, number 3. I'm going to press R, for rotate, X to lock it, and Control to keep it onto the grid. Move it like so, press G, hold control, move it here, press S, hold control, that makes sense, make it big like this, because uh, if you just seen when I did it too far, it just disappeared, uh, so we need to zoom in in order to get more power, press S for scale, something like this, G, move it like so, you can see in the top and the bottom that it's not straight, it's in the middle, so let's take care of that by pressing G and Z and just roughly eyeball this out. Kind of in the middle. Good. Now I can just scale it once more with S 
Hold control one, two. Let's keep it on one. And we need to put it back down there. So press one for the front view, G, X, move it here. Now it's a little bit bitchy to figure out what is the middle. G, X, control. Looks like it's the middle, right? Kinda, kinda. Um, yeah, I'll just trust on that. What you can do is press Z and go into wireframe and you can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, it is kinda in the middle. Perfect. Alright, so let's press Z and solid. Now let's fill in the blank. So, most of them will be triangle. Um, two of them will be square. This triangle, and now we can make a square by selecting all of these. Now, don't worry about this flashing stuff, we won't see that later on. Hold shift, select the right vertices. Very good. Three, one, two, three. Ah, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Sometimes you can see how I work. Sometimes I just click near it to let go, and sometimes I just, you know, when I'm done, I just select one first and then hold shift to whatever. Uh, hold alt and select the outer ring here. Neutral side to number three. Press E to extrude and make this two will be enough. Then, uh huh, from the side view. Let's press E, do it in once. Press S to scale, hold control. That's too much. Let's go out. S and control. I like it when it just does it in once. Uh, two times will be good. Press E, S, one, two. E, S, hold control, one, two. We'll be fine. Side view, turn on X ray. Uh, press G, Y, control, move it inwards the same as the outside. And then press E and just move this up down there. Perfect. Let's go out of X-ray mode. And now as you can see, we've made our button here. So let's go into edit mode with tab. Let's go to the front view with numpad 1. Zoom in for a bit. Turn on X-ray. Click an empty field and drag it all over this press shift d then x control and then this will be fine have even space between in very good let's fill in the blank i'm gonna turn off x-ray and now i can just easily select those select these and fill in the blank without having to mess around with the button same with this select both hold f fill in the blank now we just need a button down here, so I'm going to click on a cube, side view, S, Y, control, and this will be fine. Front view number one, S, Z, control, and this would also be fine. The side view number three, I'm going to press T, hold control to move it like this. And then uh, let's add in a befell first. So, control B. This will be fine. Very nice, right? Then, uh, hold L near a vertex. So, we select them all. Go to the front view numpad 1. Scale it down. Something like this. G, control, and place it down there. Uh, what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to go to the side view first. Press G, Y. And I'm going to move the button into the console because that is just how it is. <laughs> uh, because this is something that goes onto the console and that's why we have here a smooth edge. And this is already something that's in the console. So I'm not going to smooth it out there. Not, no need for that. Um, from the side view number 3, I'm just going to put this with GZ. I'll zoom in a little more. GZ, hold control. You know, I'm just gonna put this without control. GZ. Roughly like this. So when we go to the front view, you can clearly see this is all nice on one line. 
And now we have our console ready to be colored. With the console being selected, let's click on to red, add in an extra line, and let's give this a black one. Um, we need to see something, so let's go to look there. Everything is red, so go into edit mode with tab, and let's select the whole button here with L, then assign this black one onto the button, Alt A to unselect everything, Hold your mouse close to an edge or a vertex, vertice, whatever, of this um, thing. <laughs> this one, very good. And now we only need to do this inside of the display button, right? And now you can choose your cell. Uh, you know what? Let's just click on to face mode and I click this face. Uh, black, that's a lot better. Let's go out of edit mode. Now you could choose either if you find this enough or that in edit mode you say like okay I'm selecting these ones with it. Just assign that. Oh that was the wrong one. Assign these ones with it. You know it gives a little touch extra with what we've done here. That's all up to you. So now we have colored it. We molded it. Very good. English. Next thing coming up is we are going to make a part of the game. So I'm just going to hide this console here. I'm going to press Shift A and spawn in a plane. Go to the top with Numpad 7. Go into Edit Mode with Tab. I'm going to put it back in Vertice Mode. Press S for Scale. Hold Control and move it inwards just once. Now what we're going to do, a uh, TV has, you know, tiny little pixels, and we're actually going to make some pixels here. This will be very gigantic what we're going to do, but, you know, we can scale everything down. So this first one, I'm going to press G, hold control, and I'm going to move one of them right down here. And I'm going to show you how to use a mirror modifier. So let's go into this tab, add a modifier, and click on mirror. So now it's mirrored. Let's put Y with it. So now we can just go out edit mode and just apply this. Go back into edit mode. Everything is selected. Press G. Hold control. Move this one down here, right? Let's add in another mirror. And go out edit mode and apply this. So now we have made kind of a pixelated ball for our game. And in this case, I'm just going to keep things easy. Uh, we need to have these... Uh, platforms which we will uh, hold the ball from you know going out of the field so with this being selected shift D going to place this down here go into edit mode with this being selected shift D and do one two going to select all shift D and I'm just going to place this onto the top of what we have built earlier just make sure that it's overlapping the right way so yeah then uh, select all with A, Alt, M, Merge by Distance. So these extra vertices here are removed. Now, of course, what I could have done here is... Let me just show you what I mean. Shift D, place this down here into edit mode. Like, I have made one here. A one here, right? Now, of course, I could have tried to figure out how much that was and then place it here. Right? But instead, why not just select it all and shift D and just place it on the top. Alt M and remove it. It's the same idea, only it works faster. So, um, this is our, um, yeah, our platform that holds the ball from fleeing away. So, what we're going to do next is something that can only be completed when we're actually putting it on the TV. Which I mean is the line in the middle of the game. Uh, so, I'm going to press shift D. Just gonna place it out here in edit mode, shift D. And this is something, you know, you want to have a little bit of space between in. Uh, you can choose to make it even larger. So what I mean is just place it here. I think it would even be better. Have a little bit larger space between in. So this will be the middle line, this will be the ball, this will be the platform to uh, ping pong it around. And now we just need some score, right? So score is zero, zero. So shift D this thing down here, just place it right down like so, go into edit mode, 
and let's press G, press X. Uh, yes, we could use a mirror modifier, but I'm not going to. Uh, in this case, let me just maybe that's too big. We will see. Uh, let's uh copy this shift D and to put this on the opposite side. Yeah, it, it needs to be like so. Shifty. Beautiful, and now we need to make uh, the inside. So this time, time, I am going to select like so. Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. Beautiful. Could have actually used a mirror, but sometimes it's just difficult to calculate because now I'm like it's too squarey. So, uh. Let's just remove these ones. I don't want it to be too square. And then move this up once and then take this and move it up once. Yeah, that's more beautiful. Zoom in. Take this. Ship the and place this down here. Now if you still find this a little too square, you can always decide to, you know, just play around with this. Just going to play around with this. I'm going to select this down here, put one down there, and do the same on the opposite side. One down there, and then just remove one in a line. Very good. You can also play around with the mirror, so it's up to you. So I think this is a lot better. It's a big bit bigger than this one. Yeah, this is beautiful. So the whole point here is we need to select all of these and then make it its own collection and just call this game. But we are not going to add this right now. Uh, we need to do this at the end because we are going to need to make use of the render view. Uh, I need to change the name, please. Very good. So this is what we've done for today. We have made a console, which is very small, um, but we are going to resize everything um in the next time so if you've got some questions or a request then use the comment section down below if you found this video handy then like and subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching